welcome back. We're watching more Hunter Hunter. And with several members of the Royal Guard unable to carry on their duties, how are things going to be uh, gonna be playing out for the King? Especially since Gon and Killer are on the way back, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of conversation surrounding that. But how long before the memories start resurfacing? Kamugi sleeping soundly in her bed, although the king may not be entirely impressed with the plans that Poof has been trying to enact throughout the entire thing. And with him teetering on the line of how he acts and what's acceptable and his ideals of what how he's going to rule. What is in line for the future? Let's find out. The visualization there. Humans are not much better, if not monumentally worse than the the things they're trying to wipe out. <sighs> Interesting to see that in their own timeline that atrocities of this ilk were carried out just as the same. The depths that uh, communities and civilizations that will go to to get a little bit more power for cheap consumer goods in some cases. And then you've got the disparity between the highest and lowest classes of uh, society having it all laid bare in front of us. As if no one has ever thought about it before. And yet, all are equal in the resulting cloud of devastation. Was superior to... Okay, so it's not radiation. It is an actual just... Poison. One would think that surviving the... Oh, so it spreads. Hmm. <laughs> One would think that... Surviving the explosion, you were... You were safe? Think again. How does that work for Poof's uh, scales when he was spreading it amongst the, the crowd and the masses? Is that also a way of... Just contaminating everyone that was there, so all of the people that have gathered for the selection are... ultimately sacrificed. But also, considering what it has just said that the transmission vector of this is anyone that gets close is infected by it and become a new agent to spread the, the poison. Well, let's hope no one actually comes close. We don't want any of our main cast falling to a slow descent. I'm not sure that there'd be a lot of medical intervention available. But as far as a, a bomb like that, there is a hell of a lot worse than any conventional explosive or even nuclear weapon. In, in this, at least you can make that argument. Considering now you're adding in a kind of pathogen element to it so the 
casualties will continue to grow if not secluded off. How long is it going to be before the king starts feeling the effects as well? I think we saw a little bit of blood coming from his nose a while back, but... Quick, hide all evidence. Just... Wipe it on his uh, trousers. Are you saying to run? Just how much is he willing to hold that secret so close to his chest, even if the king is fully aware of what he's trying to do? Some things are better off not divulged. What is he doing? Okay. Finding anyone and everything within the vicinity. He can see footprints. Well, how far down? And in an instant, Welfin has a new talking buddy. Uh, unsure about that one. At least he was the last one to see him alive. Well, let's hope there's no there's no falsehoods. He attacked him, but he was not the cause of death. It really was just oh, look at him fresh. It was the, the the final moments. But does it also mean that he's not actually infected yet if Yubi didn't get close enough to put blood on him or anything? And considering Poof's little arrangement that he had with him before, you know, talking down the phone to Nefpital, And he knows of Kamugi. Well, that would be... kind of obvious with his... Uh, hang on, what's going on here? The king... He can sense the emotions. I wonder why Welfin would have a bit of hostility directed towards the king after having his name uh, of his past re-emerged, having to talk about their old boss and life before they were made ants.
Well, let's really hope the king can't continue to grow and overcome this miniature rose that's going on. Oh. And I'm guessing the king can also sense this this panic, this anxiety, worry. Oh, God. Look at him. Trying to hide away. I mean, there's several reasons as why I could think people would be uh, slightly against his his presence and rule there, but for Welfin. Fancy waiting for the cape to uh, fall to the ground. How's he going to react about Poof interrupting? It's not a face filled with uh, understanding, really. I mean, that would be the truth. Poof did say that he'd do anything, even sacrifice his own life to keep it hidden. Be patient when trying to get your prize. But how long does Poof actually have left? He's leaking more and more the longer this conversation goes on. I, I mean, as long as you're still alive, just keep here for a bit longer. I don't, I don't think you'll be able to sl slink away. You thought things might be going in their favour. These unexpected... Unexpected events. Ah. Drunk with power and opportunity. It was... Probably a lot to take in for him in the short space of a few hours. Well, let's hope that they can continue to hold on to that idea that Gyro is alive and they can work together to reunite in some fashion. Damn that squid! And while Welfin is going through, admittedly, probably quite rightful, uh, amount of distress. What? What happened? What is uh, the story you can put together in his mind under kind of duress like this? First word is key. Let's hope he picks a good one. There's a couple I can think of, but right now, maybe jogging the king's memory with uh, something will actually work right now. Any relationship to... I mean, who does Pooh think he is to step into the middle of a conversation when he's asking 
so nicely. He is... Tremendous right there. Wow. I mean, it, it's the presence that we thought the king would have when we first got into it about the, the Khmer and this kind of death personified. As long as he obtained what he sought. When it comes to it, just how much is he So he is actually going to stay completely silent, sacrifice everything in order for a little time longer that he holds Kamugi away from him. <laughs> and insanity. Did it give... Wow, give birth to a tiny bit of leniency. If he had faltered even for a microsecond, I'm sure it wouldn't have played out quite as well. Oh no. It had to be redirected somewhere. Hmm. What is all of that? He is aging horribly. Oh. Yeah, the stress is going to get to him. I'm, I'm not sure this jerky is going to taste good. His life, well, both new and old, flashed before him. Search for that one memory which might hold the king, keep him from his meal. Work that crinkled matter. He's getting close. If he can only utter a singular, singular word. He won't die until he's dead. Well, let's hope it works out for him. Would have never occurred. I guess uttered would be the correct uh, definition there, not really managing to put much more behind it. What clearer picture could he have now than to have a, her name mentioned? That would jog a few little neurons. All of the time that they've spent together, the back and forth, never being able to actually overcome it, the difference she has actually made in his life. Maybe the king has something slightly better now to attend to. If Wilfram has got out of this just by fear-based brain searching. Hmm. Although Poof is going to be Quite upset about this revelation.
everything that he went through. Ah, so the feelings are shared back to him. He can see how much the king actually is affected by it. I mean, there'd be some L. Everything laid bare before him. Um, I mean, with one royal guard down that they know of. Right now, he's still got use for him, but beyond that... Now they just need to... he needs to follow it down, and what would happen if he... ...comes face to face with her? Has he recovered yet? Oh, he's actually able to utter more than a few syllables. I mean, everything has been on point so far, just how, like we we were told with Booth's spiritual message, just how much is he able to work on it and increase its ability. We're only far, far away from here. If only briefly, he did regain something very precious to him. I, I wondered if it was him screaming in his mind, but actually shouting it to the king there, but one he actually would follow. Is that what Pooh feared most? The fact that the king is that kind of lenient and allowing Welfin to leave, have a future? Where does the king sit on the scale of things? I don't think Pooh is long for the world, really, with the Poison the miniature rose spreading through his body. Sure, it's, it's a little more resilient than uh, Yuppie was, but still. We'll get to him before long. I, I'm just wondering, though, what is... Do they actually have to come into full contact to spread the poison, as was mentioned in the little early... Uh, Review of the how, how the bomb works. Because if so, Welfin might be okay. But for others in the future, I'm not so sure. But the idea that the king stopped everything, his anger towards Poof for withholding information to his hunger to wanting to rule the world or anything, just dropping it all. It's like, ah, Kamugi. That's the thing, that's the one that matters. It's almost nice to see. The fact that the king kind of <sighs> by presence alone is causing others to spread out and actually reach for what they want and Speak their mind, Poof, Welfin, for, for starters at least. Such a rule 
Maybe Poofer's right. Is he meant to be king if he can't even keep people in line? <laughs> but like what was said before, after going through so much in order to keep it all secret, having it spilled out in an instant thanks to... Well, let's be honest here, it was an attempt at survival. The last of his grey matter really working overtime just for a few more seconds of bit of breathing. I really do like the idea that after everything, Welfin's idea of what he wants now is to go after Jaro, to go after his his old boss, the one that he would call king, and maybe Okago would uh, agree with that as well. I have been hoping that the episodes that we've seen so far would push forward and there's been a lot of back and forth and kind of waiting for shit to happen and it quite interesting and being a bit tense but now that it's actually getting into it the king probably not going to spare all too much longer actually getting down to meet uh, Kamugi again. How will she act when he actually finally arrives? If she's awake and... Uh, Conscious, at least. And it was amusing to see that Welfin, uh, at the heart of this, considering his ability was all about di getting questions, divulging answers, being getting the truth out of everything. And the king, without such ability, just by pe mere presence alone, pretty much the same thing. Tell me the truth or die. Hmm. But how many, not only in Hunter Hunter, but pretty much everything, for more of their skills and abilities thanks to luck rather than judgment. I am heavily worried though what we're actually going to get. A few episodes on, Poof looking worse and worse by the minute, bleeding from every or or orifice, presumably. I don't want to check. Is he going to be able to confirm what happened in Epitol and get back to the king to relay that message before he's on untimely end? Is the king going to be somewhat lenient considering they actually took care of Kamugi and laid her up nicely in the bed and wrapped her up warm, kept her safe? Several questions that I'm asking myself, but we might need to find out. Luckily, there is another episode on the way, so you don't have to wait too long. Actually, by now, it's probably out already. So if you have enjoyed this episode, let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. Consider subscribing. But all in all, make sure you take care of yourself. Find out what it is in life that you really want to go after. Try to obtain it. And much like the king, I hope you. And much like the king, I hope you find what you're looking for. See you in the next one. My patrons really are the ones reminding me of everything that I've forgotten and what is most important to me, which apparently is watching more anime and making sure that I don't actually forget any series. So, if you would like to have a guiding hand in what I watch, consider joining onto my Patreon as well, because alongside Noku, Raywin, Sal, Trayvon, Shiwan, Akni, Guado, Tori Jane, Kite, Light Wizard 91, Mega42, Diego Zenhausen, SZ9870, Croyville, Maxwell, and everyone else, we can enjoy ourselves watching things until the inevitable blue blood and the poison of having a YouTube channel catches up to us.